Now I'd like to introduce and tell you a little information about the special guests with the Rolling Patches Review. First off, starting the show will be Dan Israel. Dan has been playing music for 20 years, plus local singer-songwriter from St. Louis Park. He's going to start the show. I hope you catch him. Then we have Terry Walsh. Terry Walsh with his albums 2AM, Harriet, Work and Hope, leader of the Belfast Cowboys and St. Dominic's Trio. We have Jim Walsh. Jim, what can I say about Jim? Author. Author of the finest book on the replacement still, All Over But the Shouting, an oral history. Leader and founder of the Mad Ripple Hootenanny. Doing that for over three years, bringing music, putting music back on the map for Minnesota, where it belongs. Two fine CDs of his own, Sink or, and or Swim, and his brand new release for Tattoos Could Sail Ships. We have James Loney. James Loney formed the House of Mirrors in 1993 and played shows in the five-state area with such acts as the Flamin' O's, the Phones, Soul Asylum, and Golden Smog. He then left the band to form James Loney and the Velvet Troubadours. Catch James Loney at the show. We also have Gene LaFond, founder with my good old buddy Larry Keegan with the Mere Mortals. Back in the day, he fronts his own band, The Wild Unknown. So I hope you catch Gene LaFond. He has two CDs out on his own. We also have Mr. Larry Long. Larry Long. Let me tell you about Larry Long. When Pete Seeger was asked if Larry was the Pete Seeger was asked if Larry was the Pete Seeger of Minnesota, and Larry Pete Seeger responds, "I'd be so proud to be known as the Larry Long of New York." Studs Terkel has called him a true American troubadour. Larry Long will be at the show. Paul Metza, Mr. Paul Metza. Like the Iron Range itself, and Dylan for that matter, Metza is a hodgepodge of people, a melting pot of different characters and performers. He's a songwriter, a folk singer, blues singer, guitarist, social activist, a Finn, a storyteller, a comedian, a philosopher, and a conspiracy theorist. Paul has celebrated over 30 years gigging in Minneapolis, and that's just gigging. He was playing music since the day he was born. So Paul Metza will be there. Then we have Tommy Towsey. Let me tell you about Tommy Towsey. He's got a recording studio, Silver Ant Records. Fine recording studio. And you can go to Silver Ant, silverantrecords.com for that information. We have Terry Eason playing. Let me tell you about Terry. Terry has been called by City Pages the one-man elephant, six, collective of Minneapolis, an understated sound, tinker, and our scene's most modest indie prog guitar hero. Modest is a great word for Terry. Catch Terry at the Cedar. Last but not least, we have Gretchen Sechrist, who is serenading you today. Let me tell you about her. Don't let her tipsy tobacco voice delivery fool you. She's a songsmith, clear-eyed and in control on her second album. A superb collection of broken-down Americana bolstered by secrecy, evocative, goose-pumping, inducing lyrics. City Pages said that about her, and her band has two fine albums out. Music from Little Big Pink and the current masterpiece, Sugarhead Pie. Catch her, catch all my special guests the night of the Cedar, starting at 8 p.m. Please do not miss this once-in-a-lifetime event. I am look forward to seeing all of you there. Thank you very much. Fade it out. <laughs>